Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Um, I've got a few days off work now so <laughs> you can expect a whole flurry of emails, emails, <laughs> videos, um, a bit of everything probably. So just to warm myself up today I'm going to do a little um, a little page in my create this book. Um, a really nice easy one to warm up with. Let's show you what I've got. So I've marked a few pages and um, and the first one I'm going to do is this one, Create Obscure Shapes. It's typical, isn't it? <laughs> I've been waiting a couple of hours for that delivery to come, thinking, as soon as I go and start filming, it'll come. Was I right or was I right? Anyway, <laughs> back to a matter of breath now from running up and down the stairs. So um, this is just Create Obscure Shapes. And what Mariah Elizabeth has done here is a little example of just a, a meaningless shape so I'm not going to pencil anything out or anything I'm just going to go straight in and um, I thought I'd get one of my I've been <laughs> putting all of my pens and pencils into little cubbies and cases and things um, just to make them more accessible and make sure that I make good use of them all I love these kind of cases where they kind of attach with velcro at the sides as well so that when you open them out you've got these different layers I've actually still got some space left in this one. <laughs> so I thought I would use some of these. Now those are brush pens. It's a bit of a waste of those. So are those. These are all brush pens. These are like the flexible calligraphy ones. Oh, I must remember I've got those because I'm sure there's a calligraphy related page in there. Um, metallic. That might be fun. All metallic. Should we go metallic? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take these metallic ones out. Now, am I going to am I going to ombre across, or am I going to just go completely random? I think random. <laughs> I think this whole challenge is a little bit. This whole prompt is a little bit random. Pink. <laughs> Do need to know if it's going to come through. Not too bad, actually. Well, I quite like that. I might just do all the shapes first and then go back through and colour them. Needless to say, I will speed through this, play a bit of music and try and condense this down to about five minutes, I reckon. <laughs> There we go, that was quick, that was uh, <laughs> less than five minutes. I think I might, um, now do I colour it in those solid shapes? I think I probably will. These are lovely to use, these STA metallic colour pens. I don't think they're expensive. Opaque writing and decorating even on dark. What I might try doing is um, doing little patterns over the top of them in some of them, see how they layer over each other, just to make it more interesting. No, it's, it. it's nice that they're, you can kind of see the shape through the paper, but they're not actually bleeding through, so that's really nice.
there I'm done that's taking me a good hour but I feel really chilled and really warmed up ready for some uh, proper art <laughs> well <laughs> some attempts at proper art anyway yeah that's my beef that's my be really relaxed I really enjoyed that I have to say these um, pens are brilliant um, they cover really well um, they don't smell of anything they're water-based but it does say they're indelible and light fast which is brilliant um, they've got a lovely metallic sheen to them it's quite subtle but yeah really lovely really nice and I haven't done much with them on um, on dark I did try layering over so most of the, the dotting I've, I've done with um, a white Posca pen but I did try layering over just here just didn't think there's enough contrast but they do layer over completely opaque over one another as well so that's good um, I wanted to just see yeah and look all of that coverage on thin book paper and there's just no bleed through at all oh yeah pretty impressive enjoyed them and they've been festering away in, in a box in a shoe box for ages so now I've got all these pens in these cases and cubbies and things hopefully I will make much better use of them hope you enjoyed watching that a bit of doodling um thanks very much for joining me and I will see you again really soon